What's up guys? So in this video, we're going to talk about this hyperspace AI. Uh, this particular project has been going on for some time, but I've actually just been monitoring the project for about like two or three months right now. And I think this is pretty much, you know, a good cook if you want to join. So I'm just going to quickly show you everything you need to do because I think this project, this particular video is going to be a very long one. So just walk with me. I'm just going to show you everything you need to do and everything that you need to do to make points on this particular project right here. But before I go on, if you are new to the channel, just go ahead and not, don't just subscribe. Just join our Telegram group. I think you would actually gain more from joining our Telegram group than actually subscribing but if you want to join just go ahead and join uh, and subscribe to the channel i, I think yeah subscribe for more <laughs> so let's just jump right into it right here so you can see this is the official twitter account of this particular project so this is pretty much simple and easy it's just like grass and it's just like uh uh it's just like grass and it's also almost close to nexus we actually found nexus like about a month ago so all you need to do on this one is just for you to run you have like two three choice to choose is either you run the browser you browser connection or you run the desktop app connection or then you run the cli and uh, which the cli is the one that is going to take a lot of time and i think that's the one that gives most points not i think that's the one that gives you most points so it's up to you to decide whichever one that would actually suit you but i'm just going to show you the three right here on this video so you can be able to do that with that being said let's just jump right into it and uh not like i'm actually skipping the amount that this particular project has raised but we don't really have any information about uh you know the amounts that this particular project has raised i've actually tried and digged and digged i've not actually seen any amount so we are just farming this project you know just hoping that they've actually raised a lot of money but this kind of project are you know one of those projects that when they actually launch you'll be like where have i been on this why or have i actually been doing the wrong things but I'm, that's why i'm actually farming this airdrop i think it's just like a few people that are actually farming the airdrop i think the highest the peak of it that i've actually seen notes connected we are like about twenty thousand. since then i've not seen more than twenty thousand. It's about like ten thousand to about fifteen thousand to nineteen thousand. so that's not really that much of you know notes compared to other projects i think one of the reasons that this particular project is not actually talked about is maybe they don't have any money raised or maybe it does not require that referral and that's actually what happened to hyper liquid i think when hyper liquid was actually running their airdrop a lot of people were you know looking maybe looking somewhere else that have actually raised millions of dollars and they didn't announce any amount raised they didn't announce anything so i think this is close to being that hyper liquid i hope <laughs> but let's just go right into it so first off all you need to know is that uh, this is the browser browser task that you will actually do right here So all you need to do just go to the description of this video all these links are going to be there So first of what you need to do is just for you to come right here and click on connect So uh, if you just open this browser, you are going to see different large language models that are here So all you need to do is just for you to select anyone and then it will download Then you go ahead and connect to it But I think you should just leave this one that is already downloaded and just go ahead and connect to it so that's for the ones that are using maybe phones or, or like, you know, device without much power in it. So all you need to do is just for you to go ahead and toggle this button and then it will go ahead and connect right here. And then right here, you are going to see all your points. If, you are, if you've actually get, gotten points by connecting on your browser, you are going to see your points right here and multiplier and uptime right here. So that's pretty much it. I uh, just don't want to say much about this on this because we have the CLI command and a lot to talk about in this video so i'm just going to you know just run through it and then right here you're going to see all your this is your public key right here and then if you want your private key all you need to do is just for you to click on this but key button right here and then you go to your bot and you then you go to this pop-up menu right here and then you click on copy current private key and then save it on your device remember you actually need your private key to be able to connect next time or to connect to a different device in case you know you don't have your device so that's pretty much it just save it just like wallet if you lose your private key or your seed phrase 
you know, your funds are gone. With that being said, we are just going to talk about the desktop app right here. So you can see right here, we have like a desktop app. All you need to do right here is just for you to go ahead and download any of these. We'll have the Windows, the iOS, and then uh, Linux version right here. Just select any of the version that, you, that your system would actually support, and then you go ahead and download it. And then once you download it, it's going to look like this. I've actually downloaded it. That's why it is like this right here on on my laptop so this is the this is the desktop uh, most of the times it might not be working but all you need to do is, is to know is that uh, if you have actually downloaded it and it is running you are pretty much going to be seeing your points right here and you are going to just see your private key and every other thing so you can see right here this is the private this is my point and this is my if i just want to check my private key i'm going to also see it uh, somewhere around right here i'm just going to see it if i want to import i'm just going to go ahead and import right here but i i don't really want to import any private key but if you want you can just go ahead and copy your private key from the browser and then paste it in a notepad and save it as .pen file and then you can also and save it as all and then you can also go ahead and upload it and import it right here so that's pretty much how important our private key actually works right here so if once you do that you can see right here we have about 13,000 nodes connected right here and only about 526,000 nodes in total so you see that this is actually not really diluted right now so all you need to do is just for you to go ahead and run your own you know connection right here and then you see your point and then you can see right here we have all these like uh llm right here so just lang large language models right here all you need to do is just for you to download any of them and then you can go ahead and connect to them and run your connection on any of these so but most of the times if you just download this particular application it's going to give you only three two of these so you just go ahead and run any one that you want so it's up to you the boy is in your court just that just run any one you want so, <laughs> so but with that being said i think the more the one that will actually take a lot of time for us to talk about it is the cli commands so i'm just going to run you through then i go to my friend's laptop and run the other part of the code and every other thing both the installation and every other thing that you need to do so you can see right here this is my not not here not here this is my docker so you can see right here these are this is my point this is my dashboard right here so i've actually been running this i've actually installed all these and these these are the points that i've actually been receiving i've received so what you pretty much need to do is just for you to connect once you connect all you need to be all your device need to be doing is to be sending ping and then you'll be receiving receiving pong right here so you can see uh these are all the pings and pongs that have actually sent right here so most of the times you are going to see this error but if you are using docker you don't really have to worry all you need to do is just for you to leave it right there and it will have a lot of issues and a lot of errors and then it will correct by itself so that's pretty much what you do so i'm just going to you know show you the every other thing on my friend's laptop so See you you know you're gonna you might not be seeing my face for the next 20 minutes so see you <laughs> okay so all you need to do is just for you to go ahead and download this app this uh, docker dot desktop that's docker desktop just go ahead and download it you can just go and google it and then you download it but we are going to be using windows powershell to be able to you know that to do all this so i'm just going to go ahead and uh, and download windows uh, powershell right here so you have to run it as an administrator right here so i'm just going to go ahead and open it as an administrator right here so once you come right here the first thing you need to do is just for you to go ahead and do uh, cd with this uh, double dots right here and then you go back to this windows directory right here so first off what you are going to do is just for you to go ahead and install every you install all the drivers requested you have to do w s l uh this to the dash and then install right here so what it does is that if you don't have ubuntu on your device it will then go ahead and install it so all you need to do 
now it's just for you to go ahead and run all these codes that are here so i'm just going to open it right here so we are just going to first run this particular code right here so there's a lot of code right here i will try as much as possible to cut it out and then you know make it simpler so that all the codes that are needed will be here so these are all the codes that i've run i've run this like a couple of times in different devices so most of the times uh this particular code might work on this device and then the the other device it might not work on the other device so i have all these codes that are here so i'm just going to try as much as possible to you know a kind of uh, I explain what it does and then yeah just just have a lot of them but mostly you are going to see what the we are going to be using all these codes for in this video so you are just going to you know be patient with it so we are just going to wait for this to download and install so you can see by here it says uh no nvidia gpu was detected so he's going to go ahead and download this particular version so everything has been downloaded and everything has been installed successfully so once you are done right here you and your installation has been done what you are going to do is just for you to go ahead and let me just find the other code <laughs> just trust me i will try as much as possible to to streamline me so that it will be simpler for anyone okay so we had an issue right here it says uh the the demon is not yet running so we're just going to run this simple code right here ios cli start and see if it's going to start okay so it looks like yeah it did start it right here so um this basically takes like a few minutes sometimes it takes over 30 minutes to complete so i'm just going to see if it's going to you know yeah go ahead so we are just going to give it some time it looks like this is taking longer than we expected so i'm just going to go ahead and open another uh of these so we are just going to go ahead uh what's was powershell so i'm just going to open it run it an administration and uh, as an administrator again so i'm just going to go ahead and yeah so So I'm just going to go ahead and run the other of this code. You remember we first initially we ran this code, it didn't work. Then we decided to run this this one again to start the CLI. So I think it has already started. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this code again and run it right here on this other one right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy it right here and then paste it right here and then go ahead and see what we'll have here okay so i think it's going to start running uh in a few minutes depending on the speed of your internet this will take between 20 minutes to three hours to download this so we are just going to give it like a whole lot of time so see you guys in maybe one hour or, or, or one hour or three hours, depending on which one is going to be. Mm -hmm. So you can see right here, we are downloading 1.67 gigabytes of file right here on this device right here. So you can see it is currently loading up. So we are currently at five MB right here. So I, th I think it says it's going to take about 62 minutes. So that's over an hour plus. So we are just see you guys in over an hour plus. I'm just going to come back and then if everything has already downloaded we are just going to continue from there okay so you can see right here the whole thing has been installed right here so it has been downloaded right here so you can see download is complete and this has also you know you know completed right here so uh once you are done with this the next thing you are you need to do is just for you to go ahead and run it on docker so just like i said i usually like to run this on docker because it, it makes more sense and is a little bit less stressful so i'm just going to go ahead and enable docker terminal right here and then docker will open right here so i'm just going to go back to this first user right here cd uh then we'll go back no sorry this is double zero the double dot so we go back to this first docker right here so i'm just going to do uh wsl install right here so we can just go ahead sorry wsl in install right here so we can just go back to ubuntu and then yeah we can just go ahead and start running this right here so i'm just going to go ahead and copy the other 
you know codes that we need right here so you can see right here i'm just going to copy this one right here pkq aios right here so i'm just going to go ahead and no not uh, we are not going to be using this anymore we are just going to be using ubuntu right here so i'm just going to go ahead and paste this right here and i think it has killed it and then we'll go ahead so what this code does is that if there is another instance that is currently running somewhere else so uh, i tried it previously on this right here on this one right here so it says uh, another instance is also already running so if you have this issue all you need to do is just for you to paste this code and then you go ahead and paste these other ones that are here these are uh, aios click uh, connect right here so i'm just going to go ahead and do that and then paste this one again and then we'll go ahead and click on enter right here and yeah it's going to it says no local key was found so it's currently generating a new key for myself so this key is what you use is what you use to log in maybe something happened to your laptop and you want to re-log re in it will actually be the same key that you'll be using so uh, and if you want to log into another laptop that's what you will be using to log in so all, all you need to do is just for you to go ahead and run this code right here for you to see your both your public key and your local key so i'm just going to find the code right here and actually attach it to this um, i'm just going to find it i think i actually okay okay yeah uh, ios who am i somewhere i'm just gonna find it so okay yeah so this is it ios hive who am i right here so if you type this code it's going to review your private key and your public key and you save it somewhere else on your laptop so you'll be using it to log in you know for maybe you want to log out of your laptop or something like that you can actually use it or maybe you want to farm this on multiple accounts you can actually use it and run the code multiple with multiple laptops or something like that but if you want to run this i would actually advise you to run it if you have like two different devices that you want to run this on you could actually i will actually advise you to run it in the differently with different private and public keys yeah so and you can see right here i think it is currently running right now even though we had this error right here so most of the times you are going to see this fail to register models interference error right here so what you actually need to do i think it, it ran the first uh ping right here we did the first ping right here and uh we received a pong right here so okay so just like i said most of the times you are going to see this fail to register models interference error right here so that's one of the most challenging issues that you're going to have right here so but if you actually have it if you have the issue just leave it and then it will still rectify it that's why i like docker but most of the times if you are using this uh windows powershell right here if you are using powershell most of the times you are not going to you are going to start all over again or run it again that's that's why i just don't like this uh this power show so please always use docker so that you you even if you are not around the code will be running by itself it will regenerate even if you have an issue so you can see right here this one they had an issue and then it regenerated it regenerated by itself and then we are actually having more pings and right here so you can see what you basically need is just for your computer or your device to send the ping successfully to hive and then it will return a pong to you so this ping and pong that you you do in between your device and their server is actually what gives you points and that's actually what you know gives you more allocation for the airdrop so all you need to do is just for you to leave this for as long as you want i don't really think the airdrop is end ending anytime soon so you actually still have more time for you to be able to get more points for this particular airdrop right here so pretty much this is currently running right now so if we come back we are going to be seeing more pings and pong right here so all you need to do is just for you to leave it and then just go about just minimize it and do whatever you are doing whatever whenever you want you can just come back right here and open it and then you see the amount of pings and pong that you have so for you to see the total amount of points that you have you have to open another terminal and then you do wsl install so that you can go to ubuntu and then you just run this code and you will see the total amount of points that you have and as you can see i have just zero points right here but it's just because i just started so if you keep it on for about an hour or more you are going to see your total points 
So if you're having any issue with any of these, all you need to do is just for you to refer to this document. I'm going to streamline it. I'm going to, you know, delete a lot of things right here and then make it a little bit simpler for you to understand when I'm going to upload this video. So I don't really know when I'm going to upload it. But then, till then, I think that's it for this video. And if you like this video, just go ahead and join our Telegram group. I don't really have to tell you to subscribe to the channel. Just go ahead and join our Telegram group. And then we usually have like every Sunday, we usually have Q&A sessions. I will answer all the questions that you have about this project or any other project that we're currently farming on this channel. And with that being said, I think that's all for this video. See you guys on the next one.